and thank you for inviting me here. I think it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, thank you all for your time to be here. So what I would like to do is uh, very quickly, I think uh, we might be running behind time, I think, so you know, I, I won't take too much of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so just very quickly, I think you've heard a lot of uh, trends, global trends, trends in India. Uh, so I won't uh, take much time, but again, there are three, four, four major trends we see globally which is happening. One is uh, there is a huge amount of growth in the emerging markets, obviously. Uh, and uh, as per the statistics, you know, I, in 10 years' time, more than 50 percent, almost about 60 percent of the consumption of electricity would be done in the emerging markets, not in the OECD countries. So that's fact number one, which is very important, uh, you know, from, to understand. Number two is availability of gas. As somebody is, as Anish was mentioning about the shale revolution. So based, based on shale, uh, shale revolution, there has been huge increase in the production of gas in the U.S. And that is changing the energy dynamics in the whole world. I mean, you can see the oil prices are about 40 bucks and uh, there, is, there is a lot happening in the energy markets as such. Uh, so what, what uh, is predicted is almost about 80% of the natural gas production will take place in North America in another five years' time. So that's another important trend. The third important trend which we are here to discuss, which is the renewables. Three years ago, everybody talked about uh, renewables as, you know, a trend or, or a fad or something which you should do, something you should do because, you know, it's, it's green, it's the right thing to do, although it was expensive. But today, it's really the mainstream. This is, this is, uh, this is not just to be done because you want to show you're green. This is really in the mainstream of, of things. It, the cost is down. It's, uh, uh, you know, growing at a tremendous pace. And uh, again, for various reasons which everybody has spoken here, this is the future. Um, and again, as per the estimates of International Energy Agency, by 2035, 40 percent of the power generation would be uh, renewables, which is, which is huge. If you look at five years ago, it was really, really very, very low. And also, uh, factually, the this power, renewable power would surpass the fossil fuel generation by 2035. That's what is predicted. And the fourth is, uh, I think, again, people have talked about it here, is distributed generation, which is solar rooftops, uh, off-grid, and that is something which is an emerging trend. There's a lot of discussion about that in, in uh, some of the markets, including U.S. markets, you know, net metering and the interaction between the utilities and the consumers. Uh, it's an interesting debate, and that is something which is going to continue with the, the prices of, uh, you know, the renewable power coming down and down. I think this is something which is going to be extremely interesting to see how things work. Uh, you know, it's still uh, out there whether the world will exist without a central power station or without a grid or not, but uh, very interesting discussions. Overall, um, if you look at the energy markets, I'm talking about energy, not just uh, the power generation, but energy markets. Uh, the total investment required over the next 20 years is almost about $40 trillion, uh, of which uh, power itself should be about 40%. Um, another 30% uh, is, you know, for oil, oil production, maintaining the oil rigs and everything else, and another 20% for gas. And uh, in the power generation itself, 60% of the total power generation required over the next 20 years will be renewable. So more than 50%, so new, new capacity which is coming up, about 60% of that would be in the new re renewable sector. So that's something which is the global trend. It's not, it's not happening at one place, it's happening everywhere. Europe, U.S., Japan, um, you know, India, obviously, China, big way. I mean, this is something which is huge. Uh, so with that, I will come to a little bit about what we do um, and how do we fit into this equation. So we as GE, we have really two big uh, uh, businesses, uh, two sides of the businesses. One, one is the industrial side, the other is the financing side. Uh, the industrial side, uh, you know, we make turbines, we make uh, many other power equipments. Uh, in terms of uh, in the renewable energy, worldwide we have about 40 gigawatts of installed capacity um, in about 30 odd countries. Uh, that's about more than about 25,000 wind turbines uh, install installed and with an availability factor of 98% plus, which is uh, pretty good. Um, we do a huge amount of R&D investment, uh, more, more or less two, or 2 billion or so every year on the renewable side, which is, uh, you know, which is uh, what it says that it is something which is important for us and it is something which we think is, uh, is the future. In India, we have installed base of what, a gigawatt. Uh, we have a manufacturing facility in Pune. 
and a research uh, facility in, in Bangalore. And we have a team of almost about 350 people in India um, in the renewable business. On the financing side, where uh, it's the business I come from, globally we have done, in the last about 10 years, we have done investing of about $12 billion um, of investing in the, in the renewable phase space, of which about 75% is equity. So about $9 billion equity investments we have done, 25% uh, debt. And uh, between wind and solar, about nine billion of wind and about uh, two, two and a half billion of solar investments we have done. Um, so uh, we are very active in the, in the space. Uh, we are pretty active uh, in the globe, in, in Asia. We have done a lot of uh, business in Japan recently. We have done uh, a few deals in India. Uh, we are pretty active in Australia. We are looking at other countries also. So this is a space which is uh, where we are very interested. Couple of examples we've uh, invested in. Uh, I, I got the orders that I, I need to stop here, <laughs> so uh, so I will stop. <laughs>